I like us. Um, well, look, finals in your own hands and you've sealed it today. What were your thoughts on Dave Hull? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's a better position to be in, not having to rely on other people losing now. And, oh, look, it's been a tough year. Uh, they're long, longer. Um, and today was ref about, a little bit about reflection. You know, we were three and five. Um, was acknowledging the uh, probably the resilience amongst the players and, and the staff as well. You know, just staying really measured, uh, really level, believing in um, in us, but believing in what we're trying to achieve together. But, but whether it's the way we play, um, the way we prepare, people we uh, we lean on, um, and so it's a tremendous. Tremendous result. Um, there's great integrity in, in the way the players have, you know, fought their way through the year, and we've had some down days, and it's hard to um, harness human nature sometimes, and sometimes it gets away from you. So uh, no one ever makes excuses, but you, it's difficult to understand when you when you get beaten at times, and and you feel like you're more capable. And I think that's a trait within the the club within the players and the and the support group is that uh, you know the, the, there is a strong belief and a resolve and sometimes it's more than a surprise because you don't know what's going to happen the next week. So yeah, to be here, uh, well, I think what we're going to finish sixth, don't we? Is that the case? Um, and when it didn't look likely after round eight, is uh, is very satisfying. What changed? Three to five, and it felt like the whole footy world was coming for the Western Bulldogs at that point. What changed about uh, Well, I, th I think you know part of your challenge um, as managers and decision makers is um, exploring things, but keeping things in, under control. Like you know, when you start any football season, sometimes it's hard to know even whether you've picked um, your fittest. Uh, most prepared team and uh, whether they're going to be able to execute what you're asking them and yeah I think at different times we've uh, the planets have aligned and and whether it's tactically or, or not the players have just been able to just execute that a little bit better and the, the match day plans sort of um, evolve and they revolve around whoever's in your team and you know like if you reflect back and think about even some of the boys who are, who are fresh on the scene or some of the lesser likes that have had an impact in, in their roles and the, some of the young forwards who are, you know, exploring their outer limits a bit and even some of the changes in our back end. Um, it's never settled, but I, I feel like we've, stru we've struck a good balance of exploration and, um, and stability. Um, and then that has challenged some of the, you know, the more notable teams in the competition. So. Uh, now, to everyone's credit, um, they've they've held they've stayed the course, but I don't I don't think it ever went off track. It's just that the the wins and losses didn't really reflect what we thought we uh, we were capable of. Well, I, I think you know, a bit like GWS, they've been beating all the teams around them, higher than them. Um, you know, when we turned after the bye, we had the Kangas twice, so we were a bit lower, so no one um, stores away a win, doesn't matter who you're playing, because you know, you know that every, you know, on, on anyone's day they're capable. Adelaide were probably the other ones who were a bit lower on the ladder, but are always a danger, and obviously they beat us. Um, but every other game was against a team that um, was above us, and um, and so even at that point in time, just to be curious enough and to match the curiosity with, um, with commitment and then uh, to, to get to a point where we were playing a final series because we've been able to knock a lot of those teams over, it, it probably, uh, it, it franks the belief to a degree, but it, it just gives you enough um, foresight that you, you know, you're a bit more than a threat. So we'll, it's important two weeks to recover um, and see if we can uh, 
refresh and sort of start again, so to speak, and, and meet the challenge of a, of a final series, which is extremely exciting. Where does today rank in terms of your home and away wins? Because not only does it clinch your finals berth, but you broke Kevin Bickham's long-standing record today. How special was today, just in isolation? I think with what was at stake, you know, and um, no one's ever sure how much weight to place on the task at hand and because um, will that be too much? Will that take over your thought processes? Will, there, will we put too much pressure on ourselves? Will it disallow you from playing with freedom? Um, will you be calm enough when you need to be? Um, or, you know, the, the, the polar opposite, you know, the other end of the continuum is just treated like another game and, you know, believe you're good enough. Well, I think we, we probably erred to the former. You know, we, we, we built it up as a, um, as a, as a big opportunity, um, as, as a game that probably uh, internalises the, the inspiration a little bit more. So I, th I think from... Josh, from that point of view, it's one of the more uh, significant wins over the over the journey. Because uh, you know, I I, I think uh, you know they've been a very good side, the Giants too. So uh, when everything is live, we didn't want to rely on a team or two to uh, to lose. So it's it's pretty pretty significant. An exploration you spoke about earlier in the season. I guess Jack McRae and Caleb Daniel were sort of casualties of that. Explorations. How much did it mean that they were able to stand up when they needed this afternoon? Yeah, well, I think those two gentlemen are two examples of experienced players who are nowhere near finished. Um, you challenge them in, in different ways um, and it provides opportunities for others who, who may play the game a different way to what they do. But ultimately, they, you know, CD and, and Jack have, have got um, inherent traits in their game are the real strengths, you know, and and they so they have been challenged, the boys, and and for them over the last couple of well, CD's been in the team a bit longer, uh, but for them over the last couple of weeks to to now um, play the roles that they're playing, able to draw on their experience, especially on a windy day, and and then now, uh, was was important for the team. So uh, they still got long futures ahead of them, those two, but um, I know it hasn't been easy for them. What did you make of William Jones tackling the first minute? I, mean, I, I haven't watched the replay, Pete, so I'm not sure um, how it measures up to, to the other tackles that are, that are similar, so it's difficult for me to comment. Um, I would say you, you, you're all but ruled out Tim English mm. and he got up. What, what changed during the week and how impressed we do the way that he performed today when he needed him? Yeah, well, as you know, I, I don't, I don't tell lies. I've probably been more honest with selection um, in in more recent times than ever. There was a time when, even if there was uncertainty, but um, it was more glass half empty that I just, I wouldn't say anything, and <laughs> I'd be careful with um, you guys and girls because um, it can be accused of playing games. So I, rather than um, go through those stresses. I, I've been more upfront and yeah, absolutely hand on heart. I, we thought he probably wouldn't play. Um, coming off the ankle, it was a bit more serious than just a rolled ankle. Like he's, the ligament, one of the ligaments that he injured was, uh, meant that he could be out for two or three. Uh, and he hadn't trained and, uh, but, uh, but yeah, as the week went on, it, he started, to look more likely than less likely, but it wasn't going to ring you. <laughs> um, so yeah, it was just a um, bit of a surprise in the end. And so to Tim's credit, I thought he was really valuable today. I thought he, thought he uh, held his end up in the ruck. Latham Vandermeer, the hamstring tightness, how bad does it look? Yeah, one of those ones, Hannah, we're just going to have to get a scan and um, wouldn't have thought he's, he's blown it, but might be a, a minor injury, we'll get to you as soon as we uh, we know the result. We had to look up whether Artie Jones had a catch to Ballarat because the crowd was just so behind him as soon as he came on. How impressive was that in his first senior game? 
Yeah, it was great for Artie. Uh, you know, he's an example of a player who maybe coming into the year expected to play more senior games, but um, you know, what we're after from him um, has looked better over the last month in his roles at uh, state league level and, and he's ready to be called upon. So oh, he's just a lovable kid um, and uh, he buzzes, doesn't he? And I thought he was pretty important with his pressure, um, put his body on the line. It's good to see him uh, hit the scoreboard for us when it, uh, when it was important in that last quarter. Um, so yeah, when at the, at the, late in the year when one or two boys are coming on and they look a bit fresher, that could be important. Now that we've seen Ed Richards for only three months, is it pure insight? Come up with the idea of moving down because he looked like a future All Australian halfback, and all of a sudden looks like a future All Australian midfielder. Yeah, well, I mean, it's um, one of the things we we dislike in in this uh, little niche industry is people who just claim things that it, uh, whether it's theirs or not. Um, so I won't, I won't, uh, I won't talk to you about. Uh, um, who, who it was, but why? Um, it happened similarly previous year with, with your more experienced midfielders and you're looking at your depth through there, who is going to be able to have an influence? And so who on your list might be able to step up? And Ed with his um, athletic traits, uh, he rises to the surface. Um, so it's not that hard really, is it? Uh, so it just, it's almost a no-brainer. We gave him a bit of a look at it pre-season, just in case we had an injury or two. Um, and, uh, you know, Chuck Williams, who plays 150th today, he's probably another example of a player on our list who could probably go and play inside. Um, and there's one or two others. But what's happened over time with bringing all the key position ruckmen, um, you know, Rolly Sanders is the first early selection as a utility or midfielder for four years. Uh, we, we, we lack a bit of depth in that area uh, through the list. So you're trying to um, make the most of your, your finite resources. Um, so that's how that came about. And uh, yeah, it's been really encouraging to see the way he's gone about it. Tough contest, Adam Trelaw could be probably was he okay? Yeah, he had a bit of uh, tightness in his calf and uh, he got through the game. It's not uncommon for Adam, but he just seemed to be a little bit more um, constricted than he has been uh, in the in the recent past, so hopefully he's going to be okay. He got th he did as I said he did get through the game, but um, it was a concern early. Can I can I just say before we go? The reason I'm a bit upset coming in here, a bit emotional about the week and, and the win, but John Schultz just passed away, um, and uh, <laughs> you know we're, we're all very close to John. So um, on behalf of the club, you know obviously they. Uh, a bit like Sammy Landsberger, who's a, who's a young man who went too early. Um, John was um, cut down by um, the after effects and the ongoing um, um, illness after he's had pneumonia. So he's been in hospital for a little while. I managed to see him during the week and, um, and, he, and we had a, a bottle of red sitting on his table that we hadn't drunk together. And I said to him, uh, we still haven't drunk that bottle of red, John. He said, ah. Oh, he said, don't worry, I'll come good. We'll get to that very shortly. But um, he, he's passed away. So love to uh, all the girls, um, John's daughters and their families. And, uh, and on behalf of the club and all, all the Western Bulldogs supporters and everyone who loves John, um, who's pretty much the world because of the, the man he, he, he was, um, you know, um, this planet's going to miss you, mate.